Hello everyone, welcome to Dumbass of Gaming, my name is Netta and today we'll be looking at Need to Speed Heat. As a racing game, Need to Speed Heat is very similar to the previous arcade Need to Speed games and it stands to true what it is and great customizing and tuning and arcade thing feel of the game that all blend and work very well together. But this game is not without its issues. It's, the thing is what it's good for, the customizing and the arcade gameplay and style of it really makes this game shine and makes this game really strange. It makes the game fun. But the other concepts and aspects of this game as we get into now has its problems. It's not a perfect game. And I would like to dive in now and talk to you guys what are my thoughts now on this need to, new Need to Speed beat. Starting with story and the setting, the setting is like Miami, Florida type of setting and um, it's very like tropical type of thing vibe to it with like a nice, it's very, it's pretty much like a copy of Miami and Florida type of thing in the game which I find personally quite cool and I like the setting, I think it's a cool, cool place but I do find certain parts of the game very similar to, to the previous game, for example, the way certain things look and they feel certain roads. Uh, but again, it is pretty much this, uh, the thing is the uh, the thing is with these games that I always had an issue. They just feel like in the last couple of years, like a little bit of reskins. And I think also that is also the big issue for me for this game for the last couple of times. And but this game has a lot of its strengths, and I think the setting is very cool and. The city looks good and the environment looks good when you drive around. There's some really parts of the game which you drive through that look really, really good. And uh, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed driving through this new map and yeah, new area quite a lot. Um, Story-wise, it's, it's a very average story. I'll say the weakest in the last three games. I think 2015 had the best story with the characters, with your little crew that you do outlaw missions, these missions for different characters that are your friends and I think made the whole vibe of the game very cool in 2015. Payback changed that completely and this game follows that in a sense with Payback. Payback had really cool missions I think, the stealing of the cars and certain things you have to do and then finishing to do that at outdoor rush and your little side characters, drift missions and things like that. Which was decent and this game just cut that even more out and well, look, we don't buy a racing game for story purpose. It's all about gameplay and driving in the cars and things like that, which is very important. But at the same time, it's very one-dimensional. And I think the story is good, and the characters, the, the idea what was written, like corrupt cops and this whole thing around, it, it's, it's fairly de decent. But the missions you do for the story are very plain and boring and it's the same driving type of thing you do. There's no like certain unique crews you kind of defeat to unlock and have to just you kind of prove yourself to drive. It was just there's not much variety, it's very plain. And sometimes it makes you feel for this game makes it feel very plain and like kind of dead in a sense. But if you look at it in that perspective, you try to find it more immersive type of thing in this game. But that's not what this game is supposed to be. But I just feel like the story hinders it a lot. And uh, because it's very, when you do the mission, because as you're leveling to get where you want to go, the end game can unlock all the cars, start customizing the best parts. If you want to start racing multiplayer with your friends and stuff, it just makes the experience to get there a little bit boring and makes you not enjoy it as compared to the previous battle with kind of made it fun to do all those things um, and so this, the story is maybe like a 7 out of 10 with everything and that for me is the biggest hinder with this game and I've been kind of as, as I've been playing for the last month or so with this game and I'm still enjoying it quite a lot it's, I'm having this back and forward feeling uh, like I like a lot of the new improvements and then at the same time it's one step back one step forward one step forward one step back type of thing where it improves a lot of things from the previous games but it also hinders a lot 
also recruiting things like with the story and like I feel like the lack of content like the driving stories with the drift stories they're very short and there's not much to it so I feel like a lot of things are also a little bit better and a lot of things just kind of went back in a sense um, moving to audio I think audio is one of the biggest things in this game that has been improved from the previous games a lot better the cars sound a lot better they do the vehicles are much better with sound and with the new engine swaps and exhaust customization which can make your exhaust sound different and customize and tweak it to your own thing which I think customizing in this game is the best so far in the previous series the performance and uh, visual customization uh, the audio makes it a big thing the way cars sound the way you when you pass driving cars and cars pass you to play multiplayer with friends and playing on like the way cars sound and you can really feel it and I think it sounds really well and I think the audio is the biggest improvement from the previous things and I think it's very cool. It's not such a big improvement on a lot of things, just subtle for car sounds and certain things like that which I love. And I think it's a big thing for this game and uh, the only thing I had issue but this is a personal preference for me is maybe the music. I feel like the music could have been a little bit better but that's just my previous preference. I felt the other characters had better music. And uh, moving to graphics, uh, has this game fixed the graphics problems from the previous game? But Payback, I felt like it looked really bad at a lot of the time. And this game does fix those first things. The game looks a lot better, but it still suffers from the same problems it uh, did from the previous game. Because sometimes this game can look really good, and sometimes it can look quite crappy. And like the rain detail on, on the car sometimes it looks really good and on the floor and the city as you drive and the way the car sometimes looks but we're still getting those drops in frames that uh, as in the previous game where certain times we have the certain load times where certain things don't load and it happens still very often not as often as payback and it looks much worse it's been it's a bit better and this is this back and forth thing I'm having kind of frustration with this game it looks a bit worse uh, and and then it looks good and then if you change the day and night cycle it's still good on both sides but it has those little frames where it loads certain things and the game just kind of looks very outdated like an old graphical type of thing which it isn't which it does look really good but certain times it just struggles with that and I feel like Graphics have been improved, obviously, from the previous game, but it's not much. And it's a lot of things that have been tuned, and that's with everything with this game compared to that. It's just little things are better. It's small improvements. It feels like the same game, just with a little bit more added stuff. And that's kind of with my issue with this game, as it is better, and I'm enjoying it a lot compared to the other games. Um, because it's a newer thing, but I'm kind of essentially playing the same thing I played in 2015 with a little bit better things and things like that, graphically, so... Moving on to gameplay. Um, the driving is good, and a lot of improvements there, the way you can customize things, and the biggest thing for me, gameplay-wise, and the biggest strength for this game is the customizing in the game. Uh, to the performance, to the visuals, uh, it's just the best. There's no game, racing game, that you can customize how you can customize in you need to speed. Uh, to the bodywork and obviously the visuals and uh, stripes and artwork you can do. I mean, even watching some people things what they post in the game online on their community wraps, the way people customize the cars, it's it's just really, really, really good. And it's just this is the biggest strength. I mean, I've spent in all three Need for Speed games. I think I've spent many hours, like two, three hours. Okay, two, three hours sometimes on one car just customizing its look. And certain things I'm adding, putting different color with this, and adding little designs of my own. It makes it so fun. It's like a little canvas on your car, and you can do whatever you want. And some people have some amazing designs I've seen people do, and I've I've really had fun in designing different visuals for different cars. And I think that's this that's the biggest strength in this game is the customizing. I mean, it has been for Need for Speed, and I'm glad since Underground that was such a big thing that these new Need for Speeds are doing this and. Heat is no different to the previous titles, it's pretty much the same. I don't think they just added a few little things like uh, new, new stripes you can use and things like that and new visuals, but it's pretty much exactly the same in the previous titles. 
so again if you play this before you'll be right at home it's in customizing and just a little tweaks of just to run smoother compared to the other ones and i love it it's a uh, customizing it's probably my favorite thing in this game to do it's just so fun and so many things you can do to make your car look so unique and not just visually but i think also performance wise uh, the new engine swap system in this game i think it's a really cool cool feature compared to the previous need for speed uh, with the trading cards in payback which was the worst thing ever uh, with pretty much gambling and deciding which and guessing hoping that you get this sort of card to get the better performance and you just grind like it's literally like gambling type of thing and I know it was like that Vegas game was supposed to be like Vegas last game but I think it's just a stupid thing and I don't know if anyone liked that type of thing well it's in this game we are kind of back to more traditional customizing performance unlocking parts and doing rep to unlock parts uh, new performance parts new cooling ECU etc etc like similar to the 2015 ones it's more improved on and like I was getting to the engine swaps it's just like such a big thing and make the cars car sound so much better from different engines and you can really push certain cars past a threshold if you use certain parts uh, different uh, parts and different engines so some engine might be the standard one and you change an engine you can push the part to be push it past the threshold with an engine make it really fast which makes it very unique so if you're playing against frames and stuff you can have the same car but different engine inside and work differently and you can customize obviously which I also love is the the engine the any engine you can swap to type of thing and every car is, has its different type of engines it's not always the same engine swap and I think that's one of the biggest things in this game which I love and I think it's a completely new system they should keep going forward with and I, I just love that it. it's such a cool cool idea and that can be pricey to unlock certain engines can be very pricey but I think it's a lot of fun like putting a V10 for example in a in an M2 it sounds cool on a and certain cars. I mean some engine part swaps I would not do I think in this game it's like put a Lamborghini V12 into a Mustang it just doesn't work <laughs> I mean it does work but it just doesn't sound it doesn't feel right but certain engines just really fall in nicely to certain cars and I think that's a really cool and unique feature in this game and another thing which I love with the customizing again getting onto that is the the drive trains, the tires and everything so if it's not like in the previous game where you locked your car this is your drift car off-road car in this game you can change use the same car if you want for anything and just change drive trains and say I want to use now drift I want to drift with this car you change the suspension drive train and uh, tires and then you can go drifting then you can change it to go off-road and you can change it back to race so mix a little bit of drift with race it's, the customizing, uh, not just visually now in this game, it's more so unique performance wise you can customize, you can make every ride so unique to yourself and to your play style, which I think is a big thing in this game that some people might have overlooked and I think it's such a cool, cool, cool feature that really makes this game for me stand out in itself, there's nothing like it that you can customize, you know. Um, and that's what makes this need to be just customizing and tweaking and tuning rides to your own preference and the more you they make it unique towards yourself you can do it that's the biggest strength of these games that's why I've loved these games the last couple of years even though it is, has its faults and a lot of things can be improved and they are improving I feel like as new games come on but uh, it has its the problem with always had with these games is it's just pretty much feels like a reskin to want to do with add a new little bit story and different things especially payback to heat i think 2015 to payback was a little bit of a big change with a lot of things and i think payback did a lot of wrong things which followed us into this game but customizing has just, just been really almost almost perfect for me in this game and i just love it and the gameplay of, of on multiplayer it's also been improved but everything has been a little bit tweaked to be a little bit better and I think it's just it's, it's just been a blast for me and I've been enjoying those certain things and playing online with friends and racing and speeding I use this car you can use you know it's, 
that's what makes this game fun and I love the experience of just going to a single player and just unlock more cars, earn money and customize and see what you want to raise and then you can go I build a new car type of thing and do so that's what makes this game a lot of fun and what it stands out to a little bit unique and I know you can do that with Forza as well and things like that and but we'll not compare this game with Forza but for an arcade gameplay and style of it, it fits to it perfectly you know you're not expecting great gameplay here to be very similar but it's a little bit over the top with certain things but it's a lot of fun and a lot of things have improved, even the nitrous I think in this game and gameplay has been improved and um, the way it works and stuff. A lot, a lot of quality improvements to life in the game from the previous games. It's still the same thing, you won't, it won't be a drastic change picking up this game if you play the other one. But, but it's just better things and it's small things and which I'm happy with but I just feel like uh, Paying $60 for a very similar game and same thing is a little bit for me. They need to change a little bit more things and stick to what is good and improve on the things that the games have been weak on and in gameplay and in other, other areas as well. And and another big thing which I love is the day and night cycle in this game where in gameplay is during the day you earn your money and stuff to earn to upgrade your cars and things like that and customizing things and at night you earn reputation which unlocks more parts and more cars and things like that and that's where you chase with the cops and the biggest thing which I think is going to be proven that needs to be needed is the better, co uh, better cops, better police, that the chases are a lot harder and everything because in the previous games it just felt very easy and pretty much the cops were non-existent. I mean, payback just you can only see them in certain missions. And it was kind of, why were they even in the game type of thing. And this game has improved that a lot and made this day and night cycle really a thing. And I think just like you got night and cause reputation and chase cops and cause havoc type of thing. And it's there, cause they can be very challenging, especially at level 5. And especially when you have to unlock the ultimate plus parts, you have to do heat 5 races to unlock those parts. And I think that was a... Uh, very cool thing that makes you work for the best parts in the game a little bit. The game makes it a bit more challenging. That that I really enjoyed, and I think that's a cool cool thing in the game that it needs a little bit of a challenge to challenge you because a lot of from this game I felt like was just to cruise through to do things and that's it type of thing. While well, no, the night cycle really made it a, big, a bigger change and bigger thing, which really improved the gameplay. Now. A lot of cars have been added, a lot of cars, some cars you have to unlock for doing certain special things in the game which is also I think very cool. Uh, a lot of new Ferraris have been added which is a great thing. And a lot of, a lot of more cars, still a lot of the classic ones we had before so uh, there's a good lineup of cars which you can enjoy and the way you can customize the game really can make it quite unique with, with a decent car list I think. And we didn't get a super again in this game. I think a lot of people who love the Toyota Super is a little bit disappointing. But other than that, and maybe there's a few cars that's missing. Some people that really wanted, but uh, a lot of things have been added that some people wanted, and some cool old classic cars as well, like some old Ferraris and Lambos and things like that, and um, Nissans and things like that. So it's, there's a lot of improvement in this game, and all this game feels like it is, it is a better version, and I. I really enjoyed playing this game, I'm still enjoying playing unlocking things, customizing some sort of rides for online and what I want to use. It's just always fun to drop drop the game and then come back to it again and enjoy it. It's, it's a fun game, you know, it's, it's definitely for me a uh, 8 out of 10 game for, for Need for Speed. It, they've had this issue and can be frustrating and some things are really lacking story and some certain content to improve more the races. It's just a little bit bland in a lot of areas which really affect the game for certain things but there's a lot of good things in here I mean the customizing you're gonna love like you did in the previous and I think it's overall a great game and if you pick it up on a good sale it's, it's really worth the buck and you'll have hours of fun in playing this game and for me I'm still having fun and that's my opinion guys on need to speed heat I mean it's not the best there is but it's still fun it's still need to speed and if you love that you will enjoy it and the uh, new collaboration again. So, uh, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And we try to upload more videos every week. And yeah, thank you.